Okay, this is Sheldon, great friend, long-term patient. So this is uh, what's going, we're going to do today. Every time he goes to the dentist, I ask him to return to here afterwards because dental work usually affects the TMJ and whatever happens to the TMJ will affect the low back and different muscle patterns in the body. So we always want to see, did he get through it okay or not? So we're going to do a TMJ exam and see what happens. First of all, we're going to see if he's strong in the clear. Push your leg out. Good. Interesting that this muscle here is directly related to the opposite jaw. I'd like you to take two fingers, put them on the jaws, and we're going to test to see if anything goes wrong. No, he's pretty good. Now we're going to take a flat hand and a flat hand, hold it out. And we're going to do the opposite on the opposite side. So he literally loses all his strength in his right leg. And this is indicative that his jaw is jammed up, probably from having it open for 30 minutes. And then the muscle went into a spasm. So we're going to do an adjustment on his TMJ and see if that corrects it. Turn your head this way. People don't know that every time they go to the dentist, they can cause a chiropractic nightmare in a way. I'm going to release the muscle spasm and the jamming of the joint. Jam here, jam here. Open your mouth wide. Good. That's good. We're going to do a little bit more here. He's going to place his hands on this side. These are all tests to see what happens. Hold it here. Hold it here. Good. Doing good. Make this. Hold it here. Hold it here. Very good. Maybe you only have one thing. Stick your fingers in your ears. Pads facing upward. Whoa, that one just completely weakened. So we definitely have a problem. Take one out. Take the right one out. Okay, put the right one back. Take the left one out. Okay, so he goes weak on the left one. So now what we're going to do is put this back. You're going to open your mouth wide. And we're going to look for which position is the position of correction. Move your jaw to the right. Move your jaw to the left, protrude forward, retract, hold it, okay, bite down. So there isn't any particular one, so we're just going to do a general treatment. I'm going to turn your head this way, I'm going to go inside the ear, won't hurt, right behind that TMJ joint, and I'm going to put some pulses in there that will reset that joint. Put your finger back in there. Pad aiming upward. Yes. Hold this tight. Good. Good. Put your hands like this. Torque your mouth in opposite directions. No, with your hands. Yes, 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 yes. Hold it. Other way. Good. We're doing very, very good. We're going to do here and here. And then we're going to see whether or not this jaw is affecting his neck. Take this hand, put it behind your neck. We're going to put this one on his jaw. And we're going to do the opposite. Right hand on your jaw, left hand behind your neck. No. The right side of your jaw. Oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I want you to slowly open up. No, no, relax. Relax. Slowly open up. Close. His alignment is very good. Not too much discrepancy. I'd like you to pull this ear. 
Open your mouth wide, okay? Pull the other ear, take that one away. Open your mouth wide, okay? Good. Now, the jaw has quite an effect on the ocular system. So we're gonna do an experiment here. He's gonna look to the right and jaw to the left. Jaw to the left. No, here, there you go. Now do the opposite. Eyes to the left, jaw to the right. Okay? That makes him go really weak. So maintain that. Eyes to the left, jaw to the right. Okay. You're going to sit up. You're going to sit here. Very strong man. I cannot budge him. Now he's going to move his eyes to the left, jaw to the right. And you can see he goes weak. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to look to see what areas of his nervous system was disturbed by having his teeth worked on. Do that again. And it ends up to be his atlas, the first bone in his neck. So holding his head in the position, having his jaw worked on, disturbed his alignment in his upper neck. So every time you breathe in, you're going to our, our jaw to the right, eyes to the left. And relax. Again. And again. And one more. Just in the atlas, in relationship with the eyes and in relationship with the jaw. Eyes to the left, jaw to the right. And he is strong. Now, had we not done this, in a matter of weeks, he would probably start demonstrating low back problems, maybe shoulder problem, neck pain, headaches. Something would have happened. He would have come in here and I would have discovered Without him remembering, I would have discovered it was his jaw. Luckily, he follows good direction. He came immediately after the dentistry, so we know it's a possibility of the jaw. He's perfect now. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Edward.